Hey everybody, MotoPullet59 here. I spent most of my life growing up in a town called Tehachapi, a little small town in the mountains east of Bakersfield. And uh, a guy that lived up there that I went to school with, he's a little bit older than I was, but uh, he moved to Colorado around 1979 or 80, somewhere around there. And he came back to town to visit in the mid 80s. I don't even honestly remember 85, 86, something about there. And on his bumper was a sticker that said, don't California Kate Colorado. And I asked him if he didn't see the irony in that or the hypocrisy, if you want to take it to that level, that he had moved from California to Colorado and then was telling other people not to turn Colorado into California. And I laughed at him, made fun of him. And and uh, we used to talk crap about the people who would move up from Los Angeles to Tehachapi because Tehachapi was a really small town. When we moved there in 1969, it was a really small town. And uh, it was starting to grow in the uh, mid 80s because of the people moving from Los Angeles and those areas, San Bernardino and everything, to, uh, to Tehachapi to get away from the city and then they would get up there and try to get the city council to hold the population and keep people from moving to Tehachapi because they liked the small town. It was okay for them to come up there but not other people. Uh, I never really wanted Tehachapi to grow. I thought it was a cool little small town. It was a great place to grow up. Today I don't even like going up there anymore really because it's uh, not the town I grew up in. It's but anyway, to get to the point of the video, uh, my friend who had moved to Colorado and then came back not wanting to California Kate, Colorado, by that time Colorado had already been kind of changed into a different kind of place by the people who were moving, not necessarily from California, but more people were moving into Colorado and changing things politically there. Uh, Colorado's not the same state that it was 30 or 40 years ago. And now we'll start with Texas. Texas has historically been a conservative state, but Texas really is not a big conservative state anymore. When you talk to most Texans, they tend to still believe it is, but when you are looking in from the outside at Texas, uh, it's not. It is absolutely turning into a liberal state. Ted Cruz almost lost his seat to a nutcase progressive. That's, that's insane. Texas is starting to enact a lot of liberal laws and enact a lot of liberal policies. Uh, Austin, San Antonio, those towns are liberal havens. And uh, the same thing that is happening to Texas that happened to California. Uh, Central California, inland from uh, the coastal range, to the Arizona and Nevada borders are, that that's all conservative. The San Joaquin Valley, Bakersfield, big conservative places, but we still don't outnumber the population centers. And that's what's starting to happen with Texas. Uh, Austin, San Antonio, uh, Houston is getting there. Houston's a little more resilient, I think, because of the uh, oil industry, the petrochemical industry that, uh, they, that they count on there. But uh, Los Angeles is like that, too, and uh, it, it's liberal. Uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, um, probably half and half now. But the fact is, there are tons of people right now moving from California to Texas. It's a, almost a mass migration. And... What happened in California with these people, they support these uh, liberal politicians and these liberal policies, and then gradually the taxes start going up and different policies start being enacted that even the actual liberals don't like. So what do they do? They leave California and go somewhere else and start that crap over there. And that's what's happening in Texas. But I know people in Texas are proud of their states. I'm used to be proud of California. It's hard to say that anymore, even though I still think California is geographically the baddest ass state in the Union, but I just don't know how much longer I'll be able to stay here. Um, but th it's, uh, it's happening to Texas. The other state it's happening to right now is Idaho. There are a lot of, uh, I have friends, uh, 
gosh, probably a half a dozen people who are actually my friends, not just acquaintances, who have moved to Idaho in the last five years or so. And uh, they're happy in the part of Idaho that they live in. But the same thing's happening there. People are leaving California and, uh, and Oregon. They're leaving Oregon to go to Idaho. The, the liberals and progressives in Idaho is starting to turn from a complete conservative state into a semi-liberal state. And once that migration starts and once that change starts, it's really hard to rein it in. And uh, I feel really bad for them. I love them. Before I, let me go back to Texas. I don't want people to think I don't like Texas. I love Texas. We lived there for a little while when I was in junior high. We lived in central Texas. Uh, Killeen, my stepdad was in the army. We lived out by the Stillhouse Hollow Reservoir in the hill country. And it was a paradise for a kid my age. And uh, I could have lived there the rest of my life and been happy. I uh, went to Houston three different times for two weeks at a time for training uh, at work and had just an absolute blast. I, I like Idaho. I've traveled through there, not a whole lot, but quite a bit. I've done a lot of vacationing in and around there. And uh, what a beautiful place. Oh my gosh. It's, you know, it's there again. It doesn't have the diversity of California, but it is a beautiful place. But uh, liberalism and progressivism is spreading east to the Rockies from here. Uh, Oregon and Washington are already pretty liberal states. And I hear people in Oregon saying the same thing. Oh, uh, yeah, well, once you get away from the coast, it's conservative here. That's fine. But as in California, it makes no difference. California is never going to go Republican. In the our, our electors for the Electoral College are never going to give any votes to conservatives or Republicans. It's not going to happen. Uh, we're not going to have a conservative governor. I mean, unless a miraculous event happens to turn people around, we're stuck with Democrat elected representatives. Probably, I don't know, I haven't looked lately, but I'll bet 70, 75% of our elected representatives are Democrats. Uh, same thing in Oregon. I don't care what the central part of Oregon is like. Because uh, I've had, I have cousins that live there. I have friends that live there, and they say, "Oh, come live up here. It's really cool." And Oregon's nice. I've done actually quite a bit of traveling in Oregon, but uh, I'd just be in the same boat. I'd be up there, and I'd live somewhere that was, you know, as okay as Bakersfield is, but still governed by Portland and the coast, which is Portland's a sickening town now. It's a disgusting, terrible place. It's like San Francisco uh, politically. Uh, as beautiful as San Francisco is, as beautiful as Portland is uh, geographically and, uh, and site-wise, they're horrible, horrible towns politically. And uh, Seattle, Washington's a really nice place too. And uh, same thing there, but except I think that most of Washington is liberal. But these people are starting to get sick of the policies that they themselves have enacted so they're moving west, you know. Back in the expansion of the United States and the Manifest Destiny, people were moving east and bringing their conservative values with them to build this country. And now it's moving from the west to the east to tear down this country. And I hate to say it, Texas and Idaho, you guys are next. And uh, I feel really bad for you because I like your states. I like the people that I met there. But uh, every time I hear somebody say, I'm moving to Texas, or somebody from Texas saying, that'll never happen here, I feel bad for what I know is going to be happening there. And the only way that is going to change is for all conservatives and all, in, all independents to rise up and vote these people out. I, and I just don't know if there are enough people in Texas or in Idaho or in Oregon to make that happen. I just don't know if there are enough conservatives. Uh, I hope there are. I would love to see things turn around. I would really hate to see all those states turn into California politically. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm all wet. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. 
And we will see you all later, maybe sometime in Texas, Oregon, or Idaho. Take care.